so uh, welcome to the angular demo session by mind magics so uh, here you will be getting the training on all the courses but here it's specially for the angular thing uh, my name is mr ketan and i'm an angular developer with 6 plus years of experience that's my introduction so this is the course curriculum so if you see here in this course curriculum like i mean uh, i have covered everything like i mean it's a custom syllabus making sure in mind that after completing this course you will be practically able to work on any angular project because the contents are designed according to that okay so after completing this course you are practically able to work on any industrial angular projects so the concepts are like that only like i mean and even if you are uh, fresher if you don't have any background so that's why i know uh, i'm covering the basics also of javascript in that then we'll start with creation then components directives then services observables behavior subject all the important points are you know covered in this so this is about your curriculum and main thing if you see i'm also going to show you how to make your project live like i mean you know how to deploy your project this is also very important because you know if you are developing any application so you must know how to deploy it also okay so that also we are going to cover in this so which is really great then moving to next thing today's agenda so what i am going to tell you is like what is angular then why there is a need of angular then we'll be seeing different angular version history and there are some doubts related to it difference between javascript and typescript i don't know if you heard of this term typescript or not but yeah it's an advanced version of javascript so this also i'll be explaining you and then in short i'll explain you how compilation works in javascript okay so this is what uh, i'm going to explain in today's demo this is very basic but uh, most of the people don't know these things and you know to learn any technology you must know the things from the start like i mean the base of that if your base is strong then you know you can learn any framework on language okay so let's start so uh with this thing so let me share my editor with you yeah so if you can see my screen here so we all know angular is a framework of javascript when i say framework it's like everything which you do in javascript you can do in angular also but framework makes your job little easy you don't have to write number of lines of code these frameworks will give you inbuilt functions to make your work easy okay so this is basic about angular and i guess you must have read it everywhere okay but now coming to the main point which is why so as i said you it is a framework of javascript which means you can do anything in that then why there is a need of angular right because javascript itself is a very complete language you can do anything in that okay so why what do you think why there is a need okay so let me explain you with the help of one example let's say i have two files one is html and one is js okay and if i ask you to print two buttons on this okay on your screen so you will write some button code like this on your screen right this i am talking about plain javascript okay so you will take two buttons and display now if i ask you to show and hide the same button what you do in the javascript file you will call the respect to show function and respect to hide function right okay if you observe here for two buttons to show and hide you have to make a change in your html file and in your js file right so this is how it works in javascript but now if i ask you to show and hide this function sorry button if i ask you to uh, show and hide let's say now it is two button if i ask you to show and hide let's say 100 buttons what you will do you will write 100 lines of code in html and javascript both which means you have to make change in both the files which is not good right so now try to replace this button example with the real time example so what happen in javascript when you are working at certain point it becomes really difficult to manage your project okay so this is the limitation in javascript getting so this is overcome by angular using this concept m v c okay so in this example if you see 
M is nothing but model, V is nothing but view, and C is for controller. Okay, model, view, controller. Model in our example is data. View is nothing but my dot HTML file, your DOM element, your browser on which you are seeing, and controller is nothing but my JS file. Okay, so Angular has introduced this MVC concept, which is not there in JavaScript, to solve this problem. How? So if you see, if you change in your JS, which is your controller, which is your view, your HTML gets automatically updated. I repeat, when you change your JS, which is your controller, your view, which is your HTML, get automatically updated. You don't have to go there and change it. Okay, it gets automatically updated. So this is the main reason what Angular has to do, which is not there in JavaScript. So just remember this thing. Okay, coming to the next point, which is different angular version history okay so this is also an important point because most of the students are confused in this so let me tell you this also so the first version which came of angular is angular js 1.0 then after that came angular 2 then 3 no there is no 3 i'll tell you why it's directly angular 4 then we have angular 5 then we have angular 6 then we have angular 7 then after that we have 8 then we have 9 and then the latest one we have currently it's this angular 10 this is the latest version okay so if you see this is the overall version history of angular now there are many things in let me cover it point by point first thing you see i have written js keyword here but i have not written js keyword from angular 2 onwards right so i have done it intentionally so please make sure that from angular 2 onwards there is no need to write js keyword i repeat from angular 2 onwards no need to write js because they are removed it it's only angular not angular js if you are talking angular js it means you are talking about first version okay from 2 there is no js it's only angular this is first second thing you see there is no angular 3 mention here the reason is due to naming version conflict no angular 3 okay so what happened when angular guys are designing angular version 3 the version 3 they have already given it to some internal module 3 so that internal module version 3 and angular version 3 they both are conflicting with each other so that's why they decided to skip it so this is the reason they have mentioned in their official documentation okay that's why there is no angular 3 now another thing so you might have question that uh, like i mean uh, you are new to this thing and you know there is lots of version here how you are able to start it which one you want to learn and most of you have this question also that you don't know javascript also you do you have basics also so how will you able to learn it or grasp it right so to answer that first thing in this course i am going to cover your latest version which is angular 10 now you might have question that um, you don't have any knowledge on this previous version and i am saying that we are directly starting with this so will you be able to learn it right yeah so the answer is definitely you can learn directly from angular 10 because the reason is from angular 2 onwards all these versions are more or less one and the same i repeat from angular 2 onwards all these versions are more or less one and the same only there is some minor syntax differences there only there is some minor syntax difference okay because the architecture from angular 2 onwards is same okay so you can say that if you have worked on angular 5 it means you can work on 6 also 7 8 9 10 and whatever it come in future because from 2 onwards they are not their architecture is same and now they are not going to change it okay so even if you learn in this course angular 10 you can work on 11 also 12 also whatever version will come in future and you can work on these versions as well because as i said there is only little minor syntax differences there okay another thing as i said the main difference between these two versions is only in this angular js 1.0 and angular 2 
the complete different lie only between these two versions because if you see in angular js first version they have used javascript and from 2 onwards we are using typescript ts is for typescript okay so from angular 2 onwards they have used typescript and only in the first version they have used javascript this is the main difference second thing the complete architecture change from angular 1 to 2 in angular 1 they have one architect uh, one architecture and from 2 onwards the architecture is completely different so that's why it's completely different so the major difference is only between these two versions and as i said here it is javascript here it is typescript now another question which comes to your mind might be is like um, you don't know javascript and i am saying that uh, in angular 10 we are learning typescript so how it's going to work right let me tell you that also so if you see it's very simple if i i ask you to write function in javascript how will you write it you will write it something like this right same simple function if i have to write, write in javascript you will write it like this if same function if i ask you to write in typescript how will you write it simple so if you see here the concept of function in javascript and typescript is same no only difference is in typescript you don't need to write this function keyword and they have introduced this arrow syntax okay which means typescript is not at all a different language it is an advanced version of javascript it is a subset of javascript you can say which means everything which is there in javascript it's there in typescript plus some minor syntax differences okay so no need to bother it's javascript only but with some minor syntax differences advanced version of that getting so this is the thing second thing if i have to tell you the main difference between javascript and typescript is typescript gives error at compile time itself so what happened let's say you are writing your code in typescript so if there is any error it will throw error at the compile time only like i mean at the same instant it will throw there hey you are doing something wrong this is not acceptable so it will throw error at the compile time it will not wait for you to run your code and then at the runtime it will throw error no it will strictly give you error at the compile time itself okay but if you see for the javascript it will use you use error at runtime okay so in javascript what happen you write your code even if there is an error it will not throw error at the same time it will allow you to run your code and then at the runtime it will throw error so this is the main difference between javascript and typescript so now you can also identify on the basis of this different that which is good of course typescript is good because you know it is saving your time it is giving you error at the compile time only so which which saves your time right okay so this is the main thing and uh, regarding this so to cover up like i mean summarize firstly we have seen what is angular then why there is a need i told you with this example using mvc concept then i have shown you different angular version history like uh, what is the latest version which version we are going to cover in this course what is the difference and even if you don't have knowledge still you are able to learn this that's my you know that's my duty and i am responsible you know i'll teach you in such a way that even if you don't have any background still you can learn it and this difference you can feel in two three lectures only trust me because this whole course is going to be practical based so whatever we are going to learn in this course it's all practical bits i'm not going to give you any theoretical notes it's like whatever we are going to learn we are going to learn it by doing practical coding and all so which will you know make your work little easy and you will understand it in a more you know better manner okay so this is about different version history then difference between javascript typescript cool so now uh let's move to our next slide so yeah so which is now angular 10 introduction so as i said you angular 10 is currently the latest version of angular and just for your knowledge uh, you all know that uh, you know it is developed by google so they have said that in every six version in every six months angular is going to release a new version so maybe in few months you can say angular 11 but nothing to worry as i said 
they are just working on compiler level things so for the developer like you and me uh, nothing much is change okay so it's a latest it is used to create single page application we all know then yes dynamic web pages also like uh, based on the condition you can navigate between your pages and of course it's a very popular front end framework in javascript as of now so currently if you see angular is the very very popular framework of javascript for building web page single page applications and dynamic pages coming to the next slide course technology in the market yes if you see current scope of this angular language is very high in demand the reason is as i said you it is developed by google which is a big giant in the anti industry okay so it is the product of google so of course the demand is always going to be there and if you learn it it's not like for the demand you are learning it's like if you learn it you will surely going to get various thing it's very very easy to learn you will see various creative options in that various packages functions which will make your work very easy okay second as it is a java javascript framework the knowledge of javascript also comes in handy here so as i said it's a javascript framework so whatever you are learning in this course is javascript typescript and angular so you know that is also an advantage like you know you are learning that also and with the help of this javascript as you said there are other frameworks also so this knowledge of javascript will be helpful to you for learning other frameworks as well okay so you can take it as an all in one option okay and as far as market trend is concerned so two two front end frameworks are there react js and angular okay which are currently booming the market in you know if i want to talk about javascript so react js and angular okay cool then yes of course you will be getting certifications also like after completion of this course you will be getting angular course certification by mind magics which is very useful and you know it will be useful to you for getting your jobs also and this certification you know everyone will you will have an impression like i mean if you have this certificate that's really great then uh, some random topic of course so if i want to mention that so let me tell you something about promise so there is a concept called as promise concept this i am taking just for you know so that you can see like how i'm going to teach in this entire course so this is a random topic i have taken from this course just to demonstrate you so promise concept is actually related to javascript and it is used to handle asynchronous data now when i say synchronous asynchronous asynchronous data is like um, let's say you have two lines of code so if it is executing line by line it is synchronous but if it is not executing line by line like i mean depending on the time your you know uh, query is going to execute it will execute not step by step depending on which one take less time it will execute that that is your asynchronous data okay and promise is used to handle that if i want to give you an example so let's say i'll write two lines uh, i'll give an example so that you can understand let's say here a equal to value coming from server okay and in the second block if i write b equal to a into 2 so if you see here i have written two blocks of code i mean like just for your understanding i divided it first block second block so if you see firstly according to your code you think first this block will execute and then this if it is executed like that it will work but tell me without executing this first block if it directly comes to this second block and if it executes it will throw error because you don't get the value of a if second block directly executes without executing this block so it will give error right because a is undefined okay so this kind of thing might happen when you work on angular related things because you don't have control over your code right you think that whatever you will write it will execute in that way only but no as it is asynchronous it can execute any line and any time okay any line and any time so to make sure that you know firstly it will execute this block then only it will execute this block so for to make sure that you know this will work we have this concept called promise 
so promise will promise us that hey firstly i am going to execute this i'll promise this firstly i'll execute this block and then after executing this i'll execute this so using this our code won't break and we will get the desired functionality which we want so that is really great okay and for this promise like i mean there are syntax like i mean promise dot then so this then is the chaining thing uh, the syntaxing and all uh, i don't want to go in that thing because that will be too technical for you for this demo session so i'm not going to go in that deep i'm just going to make it very basic so that you can understand so this then chaining syntax is there using this we can achieve this functionality okay so that's it this is the promise thing which you can explore and of course like i mean in the actual course i'm going to show you the practical example also how it works the reason i'm not showing you now because uh, it will be too technical to cover now so as soon as we proceed in our course we are going to take the practical also in that i'll be showing you how it works practically this is just a concept to show you what it is okay now if i go to next slide projects we will demonstrate yes so in this angular course so what i follow is like as i said you this whole course is going to be practical based and at the end of every lecture i am going to give you some assignments to work on let's say i take components topic today so i'm going to give you practical assignment related to dot topic you will do that assignment daily and when you see at the uh, like when you link that assignments at the end of this course that assignments will link to one basic project which is created by you only getting so in that way we are going to cover one mini project which is done by you only so i am going to give you assignments after every lecture and when you link those assignment at the end that assignments will be converted into one mini project and and that project will cover all the concept which you have studied so it is practically done by you only okay so that is really great because you know if you want to learn any framework you cannot just simply learn by simply listening to someone or understanding you have to do it practically then and then only you will get more clarity so that's what we are going to achieve in this course okay and i am here to share all my practical experience with you because i am working on this thing day and night so i think i am i am the right person to share all these things with you and can help you in this then lab setup so prerequisites for this angular thing is like you will require latest version of node js latest why i am saying latest because as we have to work on latest version of angular which is 10 so you must have latest version of node js which will indirectly require angular cli tool so this cli tool we are going to use in this course to create our angular project okay so this is the official tool released by angular only to create your angular project and internal concepts like component directories and all okay so this i will be telling you then uh, visual studio code editor this editor we are going to use it is very lightweight and this editor has inbuilt functions and support for angular so these three things you will be requiring before starting this course and then system requirement like um, it's okay if you're working if you have windows mac or ubuntu anything make sure at least you have 8 gb ram the reason is as we are going to start the server of angular and running it so if you want to work smoothly on it i think uh, good if you have at least 8 gb of ram okay then as far as the additional core resources are concerned i'll be sharing some useful links with you time to time in between the lectures like if i'm taking some topics and if i have some useful links i'll be sharing that also in between your lectures okay and if you are appearing for any angular interview like i mean if you are taking this course for an interview purpose also so for you i can take a mock interview also at the end so which will help you so you don't have to prepare separately for the interview so you no know, as i said after this course you will be practically able to work on any project plus if you are looking for interview that thing i'll also cover So you don't have to prepare it separately that will be taken care of and as far as recordings are concerned so yes after end of every lecture you will be getting the recording of the lecture we have taken so on daily basis you will be getting that recording so you can download that video and you can save it for your future purpose also so you know so everything is will be you with you only so you will not get any problem with that so i think it's really really very good because you will be getting stuff also to work on course demo questions cool so that's it guys from my side uh if you have any question you can please ask me thank you